What's up dudes, Coolin here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to a, uh, well, to a few, a few scary, scary stories, you know, they're animated, uh, look, here's this guy right here, this is the channel we're gonna be watching, this is gonna be one long video, check him out, link will be in the description, link to the video, link to his channel will be in the description, I like this stuff, so, um, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Sure, there are plenty of streaming services, but what they're missing is my addicting animated horror series, My Girlfriend Wants to Kill Me, which has gained over 4.5 million views, as well as My Girlfriend Wants to Kill Me, the prequel, and her blood on my hand. Guys, what, Join what is this? Dark and Hold on, guys. TV, or you'll I'll come back when the first, when the, the, when the first story ending. starts. Alright, here we go. Logan. Here we go. I work at a small bar All right, Logan. that's located near a wooded area. Wooded area, okay. One night, while on my cigarette break, I heard something near the tall pine Well, obviously already looking Stay shook before you even heard anything, though. That's I didn't me. really think anything of it because being located near the woods we got all types of animals all types of animals around the building. Now, I don't know about this guy's My grammar employee named Drake had just joined me for a smoke uh, as we talked that don't look like Drake <laughs> to kill the time and that's when we heard the sound again but this time it was closer did you hear that I asked. Yes, he replied. It's probably just an animal, he said. Five minutes had passed and we had just turned around and started to walk back inside when all of a sudden we heard growling right behind Bro, us. Bro, why did y'all... there it was, a large creature. Okay, why if they know that something is there and the building is clearly behind them Why didn't they just Turn around. I mean not turn around. Why don't they just backpedal? They both hear it go into the building close door and lock it Why completely turn around and why is it taking y'all so long? We all just right outside there smoking like did y'all walk into the woods to go smoke? Like what are y'all doing? Like I don't know guys but it was standing on its hind legs and was at least seven feet tall. Gosh, its die. eyes were yellow and glowing like two headlights in the darkness. Yeah, ain't no way, bro. Its live. teeth were sharp and bloody, as if it had just eaten something or someone. Hey, Drink no way. whatever you do. Don't. What? Then what? it started to slowly step toward us. Exactly. Why would you not run? My what? Legs trembling beneath me. Holy ass of a Kardashian! I said. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Slowly towards the door. We quickly ran inside and locked the door. When they searched the grounds, they told us it was probably a wolf or a dog. Later that night, when I got off of work, I got into my pickup truck and headed home. But that was not the last time I saw the dog man. The dog man. Bruh. I don't know about that one, guys. Uh, <laughs> look, he feel like... Maybe you've heard. Uh, look, you think that he, he was trying a little bit extra hard right there. But, um, and now uh, the cops, you can't tell the cops something like that. There was this, uh, seven foot wolf guy with bloody teeth and he was walking up on us. Like, bro, you sound crazy. You're lucky you didn't get sent to the freaking uh, insane asylum, bro. Like, you are tripping right now. The story of me known as an urban legend. But am I really just an urban legend? Maybe I am. What? Maybe I'm not. Okay. Makes you wonder, huh? 
So. My skin is pale, my eyes so eerie, and even though most call me unattractive, I still walk around with a smile on my face as you sleep alone. So he's telling it from the killer's in the perspective. Dark. That is not me, bro. That is not me at all. Any trees, if there's any sound, there is something there. <laughs> okay, bro. So you just watch people? Dude, you're getting in a car by yourself. Why would you not check the back seat? I mean, you should check the back seat anyway. In the bathroom. All right. It's not only your shadow that's behind you. It's getting sus now, man. I am the one who's watching you. Who am I? Okay, well, he did something. Jeff. Jeff, the fucking killer. I hope you Slenderman guys, Slenderman guys. So this is just like, I'm guessing all these stories are like, you know, stories that we've all heard before. Like people, these killers that we heard of before that aren't like real, they don't have videos of them. They're like kind of just made up basically. Oh, I'm guessing that's what these are. So. Limited horror series. Horror series, what? My name is Detective Dark. Bro, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Detective Dark? Really, bro? This is what we're doing right now? Detective Dark? Why would his name be Detective Dark? He's got all white. I mean, he's got a black tie on. But besides that, on terms of his clothing, he's wearing all white. Detective Dark? Really? Hey, look. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'd unit. Most of the time. The cases that we deal with are the usual crimes, such as death by mugging, death by theft, the normal murders in the city. It was approximately 10 p.m. when the calls came pouring in. The first call was from a woman claiming that a man had abducted her child and she saw him carry her off. Into the woods. But I swear they had to go to the woods. I thought that's how Slender Man worked. There was a trail of blood behind them. Yeah. When I arrived at her house, the woman was trembling and she appeared to be in shock. I asked her to explain to me what happened. After having difficulties structuring her words, she finally began to speak. She told me that it was dinner time when she called out to her daughter. Oh, okay. To come so she was already outside. But the when girl. there was no response, she began to worry. So she said that she hopped in her car and went searching for her. But after an hour of unsuccessful searching, she gave up and called the police. Describe okay. the man. That, these two stories don't add up. How did she see? Let, let, let's just, let's just see.
So I went searching in the woods, following the trail of blood. Thirty-five minutes had passed, and I stopped to take a rest. Then, all of a Damn, sudden, man. I looked up, and there he was. Tall, oh. slender, white, with long arms. And yes, she was right. He had no face. Yeah, nah, he's done. He's out of there. Fucking move, yeah. I said, this, my gun at him. This is not gonna work, bro. Where is the girl? Looks Nothing. pretty scared to me. And even though he had no eyes, I could feel his stare upon me. Then he took one step closer. <laughs> Why does this says then, bro? Motherfucker. Then. I said. Then I opened <laughs> the ear. He, he missed every last shot. Trust. Okay, so An animated I guess they're not gonna finish that one. Episode one. We're on the siren head now. No, oh, I've had to have heard the siren head, bro. Dante had been a park ranger for over 15 years. He'd seen it all: bear attacks as well as campers gone missing due to strange and unexplained paranormal activities that were rumored amongst the campers okay. but nothing could have prepared him for what was to come it was nearing midnight and he and his fellow park rangers were working late it was a silent night except for the calming rain and pounding thunder echoing throughout the wooded area in the space of a heartbeat, his quiet office metamorphosed into phone call after phone call from campers in panic, mumbling something about a 40 foot tall oh creature that had been spotted. Yeah, in the no. Area. That's when you gotta leave. You know, one, one dude. <laughs> nice try trying to trick me with these bogus phone calls. <laughs> but it's not gonna work. At least, not this time, Peter. Said Dante to his fellow park ranger look, look. and longtime friend. Look, when one person tells you that, okay, maybe it's a joke, or maybe they're just like insane or something. But when you have multiple people telling you about it, leave, bro. Just, just go, just leave. Like, no, it, something is off, bro. You got multiple people telling you, nah. You gotta go. You gotta go. Played one too many pranks on Dante. I swear to God, it wasn't me this time. I'm getting the same calls, replied Peter, his eyes indicating seriousness. How would he yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, on the phone. Whatever, what? Joker. Unless I'm tripping. And said Dante with a snort, chuckling loudly. Then, all of a sudden, they heard screams bellowing so loud that they were shuddering the window. What the hell was that? Hey, look, no, no, bro, no. They're just playing a prank, bro. They're just playing a prank, bro. What the? Said Peter as the door to their office flung open. Dante, Peter, you need to come quick. It's Mr. Douglas. He's dead. Something. Bruh. I don't know what it was. She sounds like she killed him. she killed him, bro. Hurry, yelled Nancy. As they rushed to the scene. Like she don't sound worried at all. Blood, guts, and bone were scattered everywhere as a little old lady sat cuddling mm -hmm. a bloody decapitated head. Why is his head fully gray oh though? My like God, what happened? cried Dante to Mr. Douglas's wife Alma, but she was mute. What's wrong with her? Asked Peter, staring into her unblinking eyes. She's in shock. She witnessed the entire thing, said Nancy. Who on earth did this? Replied Dante. Yeah. Not who, but what did this? Listen, said 
Peter so tried to tell real. you, bro. So wait, you mean this thing is real? Said Dante. Really? It took you this long to realize? Nauseous. Come on, bro. Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes when it attacked Mr. Douglas. Come I on, tried bro. to shoot it, but the bullets did nothing. This is serious. Why did it leave said Peter? Those two alone though. That's my question. Back and forth at each other. Y'all can still leave, we actually. To find this thing Why? Before it kills more people. Why? And close down the park. Why we don't y'all all just leave? And we tell the military. The other residents all y'all can leave, close down the park, tell everybody to leave. Tell the, the government, to military. This is going to Y'all could go kill them with the military, and they have bombs and all type of stuff. You three park rangers are not about to take down a 40-foot giant, but carry on, carry on. And when they turned around to face the disturbance, their heartbeats quickened. Yeah, 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 the park rangers though, they got it, they got it. Holy mother of in the direction of the 40-foot humanoid creature with blood dripping from its mouths. Its limbs were disproportionately long, thin, with bony, skeletal-looking hands that were also dripping blood from its fingertips. Its skin... Yeah, I mean... And in the shape at this point, I don't know how you could even hope even to live. It had you know? no shape. In the form of a head, its teeth were sharp and jagged, and as absurd as it may sound, it had no ears. Instead, there were speakers. What in the hell is that thing? Oh, okay. Cried I guess the, the speakers are started ear like them. that stick in the middle is his okay, head. Guys, the whole time I thought he just had two heads. Okay, well, fire learn something new, right? One, Why not just shoot two, now? Is walking up to you. They're not gonna show us the next part. Okay. Next story. Timothy and Caleb had always been into creepy pastas, and their favorite of them all was one that was created by Trevor Henderson called oh. Cartoon Cat. Oh no, not Trevor. It kind of looked like Bendy, but it's the cat. One night, they decided to sneak out of the house. Are they identical twins? The uh, these are clones, bro. Coins don't look this alike. Real. God darn. This is like the same person. Around, telling stories about Cartoon Cat and had heated debates on whether the story of the giant feline creature was real or fake. Why would y'all do like? A couple of hours had passed. There they sat. Could have just stayed waiting, home and chilled. Waiting and waiting. But no, y'all here doing this. No sign of the creature. So around 3 a.m., they had became tired. You just yawn. Like the video. Then, all of a sudden, they were awakened by a loud hiss, followed by a chilling growl. What on earth was that? Said Caleb. As Timothy grabbed his slingshot and oh, aimed yeah. it in the direction of the disturbance. It came from over there, behind that tombstone, said Timothy. But after waiting for more than 15 minutes, they gave up and went back to sleep. His growl with the sounds. His growl. Y'all couldn't just twins, put the sound in? The heck? To get the hell Cartoon kid. In the shadows. Okay. It was tall, thin, and had blood. That is not. That looks like a fat cat. Right underneath where he stood lay two dead bodies. Oh, that's the park ranger. <laughs> oh God. The heck? I think I oh, that's the smoker. That's the smoker. Caleb. Timothy aimed his slingshot at the creature, then shot the stone into its forehead. 
angering the cat. Let's make a run for it, said Caleb, as they both ran. As I thought he was going to look, and the other dude was going to be gone. Carry them. That would have been messed up. But as Caleb arrived at the doorstep of their house, he noticed his twin. Okay, it is his twin. Him. It is his twin. Damn. His blood. How do they know? Oh, well, I guess they get tested. Forward, Caleb feared that Cartoon Cat would come for him as well. So be warned. Cartoon to his house? Cat is real. Really real. Really real. Cartoon Cat is real. Hey, look. Alright, guys. Um. I don't know if you guys believe Cartoon Cat is real or not. Let me know, because I don't. I'm not scared of Cartoon Cat. Because Cartoon Cat wants these problems he can pull up. Got six people in this house, bro. Cartoon Cat is not about to do nothing at all. But that concludes the video. Um, you know. I wanted, I wanted to do scarier stuff, but uh, I was trying the whole month of October, you know, I couldn't really get nothing, so this is what we came to. If y'all want to, if y'all want to see more, or like more videos like this, then uh, send me some, uh, I'll try to do them, just send them to me like on, on Twitter, uh, here's my Twitter. The link will also be in the description. Or uh, just comment it in the comments. And then I'll click the link, see what it is, add it to a playlist, and then, you know. But yeah, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.